Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So there's two elements we want to talk about this morning. One is about the FOMC, which is just kind of almost getting a little bit beyond the joke. Two weeks ago, Janet Yellen and the FOMC, incredibly dovish, uh, you know, surprised the markets about their interest rate uh, decisions. Then you had Fed member Lockhart coming out going, oh no, there's very likely to be an increase in April. And uh, that kind of took the market by surprise. One hour later, he then comes out and says, oh, actually, maybe I made a mistake. And then last night, we had yet more uh, information coming out from some other Fed members saying, actually, maybe an April rate hike in America is not impossible. And that means, you know, you've seen the dollar go shooting up, you've seen the American markets kind of drift down a little bit, European markets get hit hard. The Fed right now has almost no credibility in what they say when they come out with statements. One minute, they're dovish, next minute, they're, they're hawkish. You don't really know now until they actually come out with the end result of that debate. And uh, that's kind of where we are. Like an April rate hike would be a little bit of a shock right now considering the state of the world economy. But nevertheless, maybe the Americans have reasons for doing that. There could be politicized aspects to that, what higher uh, interest rates in America mean for the global economy, especially against perhaps some other countries out there that would be sensitive to that. Who knows? But right now, uh, I guess it's kind of exciting, but uh, you, it's very, very hard to predict what the Fed is actually going to do next when they keep coming out with one statement one week and then a different statement the next week. Like what has changed in the last week, in the last seven days, in the last 14 days, doesn't appear to be a lot, but obviously they're privy to more information than the rest of us. The second piece of information is in regards to taxation and corporate profits for this uh, for the next financial year. And a lot of analysts coming out, uh, almost universally people seem to think that the corporate profits are not going to be as high. We've obviously talked before about these videos about there, the, the gap between upgrades and downgrades uh, has never been wider than what it is at the moment. Uh, so that's quite interesting as well. So obviously, if companies are making less profits, they're paying less tax, which is less money in the coffers for governments. This is bad news for everybody, really. We could do with uh, more, more corporate profits out there. And um, I think there are some analysts coming out saying there's a 50% chance in the next two years that there's going to be a uh, you know, downturn in the, in the markets based on how the charts of corporate profits uh, are, are looking taxation and corporate profits. It doesn't really look a huge rosy picture, but it's mainly the macro data that's going to help a lot of traders decide which way the market's going to be going in, in the short to medium term. Uh, but these are obviously little, little warning signs if, if margins are getting squeezed. And a lot of that's probably actually coming from oil companies now that I would think about it. Energy companies really getting hit hard. They've historically been quite big uh, ticket firms for paying lots and lots of tax uh, and they're obviously not doing so much at the moment. So that gives you a bit of an idea about the, the current fundamentals affecting the markets. Let's look at things from a technical perspective. So as ever, starting off with the US 30, uh, slowly drifting down these last couple of days, not a huge movement on the back of uh, those uh, Fed uh, hawkish comments from the Fed members last night, but still slowly drifting down. 81% have seen your market clients currently short, so at least they're getting a little bit of extra cash back in their pocket. And uh, a number of other technical indicators are still massively overbought on the US 30. We are heading into the bank holiday weekend, so I wonder if you'll see a little bit of a sell-off because people might not want to have money on the table when you've got, you know, four days holidays coming up. So moving on to the UK 100, similar picture, similar arguments to what we just had for the US 30, though, um, it's kind of just oscillating kind of closer, just below 6,200. We're hitting that 21 period SMA. 69% of CMC market clients are currently short. The other technicals are slowly beginning to kind of nick down. Uh, we had a, a failure to move higher yesterday. It wasn't positive territory, it ended up going negative after the Fed. Uh, Japan 225. Uh, 16,896 seems to be a level of oscillation. We can expect that to continue over the next couple of sessions. There's not much new information coming out of Japan. Other technicals now relatively neutral apart from the MACD that's just about to cross over in a negative way. Moving on to dollar yen, the US dollar really getting a shot in the arm uh, after last night's comments. It'd be, it'd be very interesting if we do get another interest rate hike in April, but they're possibly thinking, let's get these hikes in now, so at least we can actually do something if there is some sort of downturn in the next couple of years, perhaps. They can't keep them low forever, at least it gives them a little bit of leeway, so the dollar getting a, a little bit of extra love. It's not like it's going great guns, but it is moving in the right direction. Moving on to crude oil West Texas is coming off a little bit more. It came off more aggressively yesterday. This is to do about a further influx of oil. 
um, coming into the market. Uh, obviously, the stronger US dollar not helping things. So 37.56 could be the potential support level to be aware of. Certainly 65% of CMC Marks clients are currently short. So they're anticipating further downside. Moving on to gold. Gold got hit really hard. Is uh, a higher interest rates in the US is negative for gold. So very negative move yesterday, overextended. Uh, clients are unfortunately 70, 79% long, so they'd be feeling the pain a little bit there. Perhaps they're thinking this is an overextended downwards move and are trying to uh, anticipate a move to the upside. But it looks, it looks here from a technical perspective that 1,191 could be the next potential support. We are miles through that 21 period SMA, but we are coming up close to that 55 period if we did get closer to 1191. Then looking at Euro dollar, Euro dollar drifting lower again, one spot 11.05 is potential support and that's in the back of US strength rather than Euro weakness. And then 72% uh, of CMC market clients are currently short, so they must be quite happy right now. And then have a look at GBP USD, you know, sterling is just not having a great time with Brett exit and stronger US dollar, blah, blah, blah. One spot 41.29 is the potential support level to be, that's been broken. The next potential support is gonna be down here. And in fact, I should really draw that on. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a bank holiday weekend in most major countries. Um, so what do we actually have coming up? There's two bits of US data coming up on Friday and Monday. Let's go to Market Pulse and then my market calendar. And uh, let's have a quick look. So today's quite a lot. UK retail sales, durable goods, employment claims, and the Japanese data. Tomorrow, you've got uh, GDP from the US. Monday, personal uh, consumption from the US. And then Tuesday, You've got the Consumer Confidence Index and some Japanese data. Wednesday, uh, Consumer Confidence Index, Consumer Price Index from yeah, Eurozone and Germany, ADP private payrolls, and before you know it, you're onto non-farm payrolls, and it's time to go crazy in the markets again. Well, guys, that's it for me. Uh, I'm obviously going to be off on holiday as well, so join me again on Tuesday to find out what happened next. Very good luck, uh, and have yourselves a great holiday as well. Thank you very much, and goodbye.